Okay, so I thought I would share a little something. Um, this, uh, this this isn't something you want to use actually for a lot of things. Uh, <clears throat> it, it can take up a lot of data. So on a player, right, we have these observable components. And the way they work is by using the read write and playmaker used to have this in one of the older versions now a bunch of updates have happened on both playmaker and on um on pun on photon so it, it's not there i'm not too sure why but anyways i'm going to make a script and we're going to stick it down here i'm going to go into this thing and all right so here we have i'm going to add next to this i'm going to say i pun observable which it's not going to know what that is so it's going to say hey you need to be using photon pun so okay now i'm using photon pun so it's turned green it's still giving me an error because it wants this so this is now uh, we, we can stream data in here right so for example uh, public int we're going to say health and public slider slide and we don't want slider joint, we just want a slider. It doesn't know what that is, so we need to tell it we're using the UI. Uh, I'm just doing this part so you can visually see the, the results on this easily. Um, you don't have to do the slider part technically. <coughs> okay, so this stream is, is like a constant, I guess stream, I guess that's the name of it. Um, feeding into photon uh, for the network. So if stream dot is reading, actually I'll, I'll do is writing first. Is writing. We're gonna do stuff inside the brackets, and if stream dot is reading, we can also do stuff. So if more or less, if we're the owner, we're going to be doing this. But if we're not the owner, then we're going to just be reading it. <clears throat> and that's kind of that's kind of all built in. So if we are writing, what do we want to write? Well, we want to write that um, stream dot send next. Send next health. So we're just going to feed this variable into the stream. Pretty simple. And if we're reading, then we want, say, slide dot value equal to stream dot. Uh, receive next I don't know here let's put health and we need to make sure that it knows it's a float Oh, yeah. I'll change that to a float up here. There we go. So, <clears throat> what this is saying is, is from this script, anyways, uh, we're going to be feeding our integer into the stream. 
if we own this. If we don't own this, we're going to be, from the stream, we're going to be reading a health float. So what do we want to do with this health float? Well, slide dot value is going to equal health. Actually, you know what, and we could probably just stick that right up there. Plain and simple. Now we don't have to do anything else to it. So, yeah, so we're just feeding an integer in or a float in, and we're taking it back out. And we have this public float. Now we could, uh, I'll do this the easy way. Uh, this isn't necessarily the best way to be doing this part, but we will show you. Oh. FSM, my FSM. So we need to fix the spelling. So now we can have a public FSM. So my FSM no. uh, health dot how do we want to do this? Do I want to feed into the FSM or take out of the FSM? Well, let's uh, I guess I guess let's let's feed into the FSM. My FSM dot variables FSM variables dot get FSM float, which our health in there is actually an integer. Um, so maybe I'll use an int. Int. Because that's the name of that one. Dot value equals, and then I'll use the float on this side. See how it's got the error because one's a float, one's an int. So I'm just going to go int. And now it'll take it and it will like it because I told it to. So we're going to take this value, we're going to sync it across the network, and we're going to feed this value into our net, into our FSM. So, or you could go the other way around. You could you could you could put this this side on here, and it equals this. Either or. And, and there's there's a million different ways to do that, and that's that's kind of the the real basic simple way. So first, we need to be we need an observable. So I'm going to drop that here. So this is being now observed. Um, the slider. Our player happens to have a slider right here, and where is our health? Right there. Drop him into there. So, in our health, so we don't have this stuff messing it up for now, I'm going to turn this stuff off. Okay. Nice and simple. So if I save that, and I hit play, we should have connect, make a new game. So here we have this. Now if I go to my player, we should have a variable. Where's our health? Here. Okay, so here's, see how I can't change this anymore? Now this one's an int, this one's a float, which is why I got the point eight six. So this one, So this does that, okay? Now the slider isn't moving. So let's just fix that up. Let's, let's go into here and let's take 
this variable. I'm just going to use a get property on it. Store it into um, something like that. And then I'm going to feed that into the slider. So now, if I go to the player, we should be able to just see it goes up and down. Okay, well that that's all cool, but what what about building it? Oh, we gotta save it. Okay, so there's one version launching. Let's launch this version. Okay, we're gonna connect to a master, join, or I guess make a game, stick him over here, do the same thing on this guy, connect to the master, I am really gonna change the name of that one, um, right, so now we have, we're here. Now if I come over here, and you see this one, I'll move this guy over. Where is that? Oh, okay. So we should now be able to go to the far player. Is that guy? Yep. And take this and go up. See how that's sinking? It's happening on both screens. Right? Pretty fancy. Now obviously it's smoother over here than it is on here, but I mean I am running two things with an editor open, so whatever. But it is syncing. And the only thing logic wise, said on, on the player, like there there doesn't have the is mine, doesn't have any of that, right? It has I'm just getting the property and I'm setting the value. That's all it's doing in the FSM. And this works just fine. Right? Because said it's all coming from get out of that because it's all coming from this script so we have this little syncing script where we can we can read and write right so now so like so I mean I, I, I did the slider through the other other side I guess I really don't even need it here I suppose because it's that part doesn't actually work that, but that's fine it's, it's I'm not worried about that. But it's syncing this value. Whether it has to read it because we don't own it, or we own it and we need to set it into the stream. Okay, so this is a very powerful little tool, this thing here. Because we can very easily uh, make a whole whack of variables, you know, uh, whole bunch of things here and use our playmaker fsms to communicate with these and then have these down here right because there's nothing stopping me from going stream dot send next oh geez i guess spelling will stop me some int right i, I mean i can stream all this stuff equals okay it is an integer so we need that stream dot receive next and it would help if we spelled that part right and help if we spelled that part right all my spelling mistakes just horrendous right so there, there is nothing stopping us from adding all sorts of things here if we really want things to be put into the stream and taken out of the stream based on your player every frame um so well i 
I guess it's technically not every frame. No, nah, maybe it would be. Well, I mean, this this thing gets called not every frame. This thing actually gets called. Uh, it even tells you it should tell you in here. Um, during during the update, like on, on the photon side. Yeah, maybe it's every frame. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? But anyways, the whole point is you can we can we can match data through the stream this way so I mean using it you don't want to sync everything um, that's that's a horrendous idea right you, ju you don't want to do that um, the more data you stick in this thing uh, this the, the bigger chunks of data have to go up and across the network and back right it'll slow, slow things down you know, so I mean, if like if you had an inventory, you're not going to sync, you know, 400 items in your inventory over this thing and back because it's a complete waste of time. And it's just going to demolish your, your, uh, your connection. But this is a very useful technique uh, for many different little things. And because we used to have actions and we don't have actions anymore, I thought I would make this just to show you that small technique. Because we, we literally used to have an action in here that did that exact same thing. I don't know what happened to it. It's in the, it's in the old ones. But there used to be a is reading, is writing somewhere in here. But it's not there anymore. So anyways... We'll see you in the next video.